Bella with Bella Essentials, and today I am going to be doing a collaboration so. So, this collaboration is called 2020 YouTube Collaboration, and it's called Wonderful Waters. Renee um, Cormalis with Soaps for Love started this collaboration. I'm super, super excited to make this soap. But if you want to see all of the wonderful soap makers, all of the soaps that they're going to make, uh, make sure you tap on the hashtag in the description so you can see all of their wonderful soaps. So, yeah, so for the rules for the soap, it has to have the color blue, it has to have more than one layer, and it also has to have a different design in each layer. So, for our soap, it's going to be red, white, and blue, patriotic, pina colada. So, we're, we are going to do a red, white, and blue themed drink soap. So, I'm super, super excited to make this soap. So, for our colors, of course, for the red, we're mixing really red mica is a beautiful red color. And we are mixing that with Red My Red Obsession by Nurture Soap. And for the blue, we are using Blue Vibrant by Blue Vibrant by Nurture Soap. <laughs> and for the white, of course, titanium dioxide. And we are going to be putting some of these hope beads into the white to add some texture, of course. So Let's get started. Okay, so for our oils, we added some coconut milk powder to it. Just, it'll add to the luxuriousness and the bubbliness to the bar. It actually really makes a really nice smooth bar and it's really, really nice in your skin. So for our last solution, we added some sea salt and that will just help with the hardness and it'll the bar will actually harden quicker and it'll be a lot easier to unmold and cut. So yeah, I'm just gonna pour my lye solution into my oils carefully and slowly. Okay, so now we are going to stick blend. Okay, so now we're going to be doing our colors and I'm gonna pour some off into this little container because we wanna add a little bit of white onto the top as like a little dollop of whipped cream or something. So yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of that. And we are gonna use that later and let it harden a little bit so we can put that on the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour these and we want them to be around the same size. So, yeah, I'm just gonna pour them into these containers. Start with a little bit. and add the rest into here. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to start with the red. Okay. I'm close this bag up so I don't get it anywhere. I'm gonna add a little bit of this red to kind of add to the shimmeriness. Okay, so now I got the in there, I'm going to stir it a little bit. Ooh, that looks so cool. <laughs> okay, so now it is time for blue. A little bit more. I think that's good. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to stir this a little bit. Okay, so now it is time for the white. Okay. Stir that a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to set the red and the white aside and we're going to do our blue first. Okay, so for our fragrance, we are using Pina Colada by Nature's Garden. And so now we're just gonna pour this into our blue. Okay, so now I'm stirring it and scraping down the sides a bit to try to get the color mixed in. Okay, so now we're going to stick blend it. Okay, so we have our mold at a slant right now because we want to have like slanted layers. So now I'm going to add my blue. It's already thick, but we don't want it too runny so the layers don't like swirl completely. But we want it to, you know, mix around a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to do the white. And actually the fragrance did accelerate the trace pretty fast, but I think that was because we stick blended it a lot more just because we wanted it to come to trace a little more because we didn't want it completely runny so they could kind of sit on top of each other a little bit. But yeah, um, so now we're going to do our white and we're not gonna put fragrance in there because it has vanillin in it. Um, so it will change the white to a more brown color and we don't want that, so we're not gonna put any fragrance into the white. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. hope that made sense. <laughs> Okay, so we're switching the white to a smaller container just um, so we can try to get a little bit more of a drizzle drop type thing. So we're going to scrape this into this smaller container. Okay, so now we're going to try to pour this in. <laughs> I think it's mostly just sitting on the top. Oh, I think it's dropping in a little bit. So I'm going to scrape out the rest of the white and I'm, I will be back with the next layer. Okay, so now we are going to do the red. Okay, so before we stick blend, I'm going to add the fragrance oil. Okay, so now I'm going to add in our red. And the fragrance did rice the soap a little bit, but that's okay. Hey everyone, it is now Vicky, and we almost forgot to put some of the embeds on and Bella had to run do something, so I'm gonna help her. These are little ice cubes. My hands are clean, I washed them really good, but honestly, they were a little sticky, like wet still, and I could not um, get them on. So we're gonna go ahead and push these in all over. And I know Bella said that um, it riced, and I can feel it already heating up, so I hope it doesn't mess up all these ice cubes and melt them. But um, yeah, I heat it up. I, I, I mean, last time we used this soap last year to make a pina colada soap and it sold out super fast, but I don't remember it overheating. I don't remember it, um, you know, ricing and speeding up trace this bad. I remember the swirls were really thick looking because it, it you know, it accelerated a tiny bit, but we kind of wanted it to because of, it, you know, we wanted to hurry up and get the layers going. So she did blend it a little extra, but it's all good. Hey guys, it's Vicky. We're kind of double teaming it tonight with this collaboration. So um, anyways, uh, if you hear my husband, he does a toy auction. So he's actually doing a live <laughs> video um, in another room. So um, if you hear anything, you know, an auctioneer, there really is one in my house. <laughs> so um, if anybody's interested in vintage toys, uh, it's called T. Wayne's Collectibles and he does toy auctions and things like that. And we're in our 40s, so vintage is like He-Man and G.I. Joe and stuff like that. Um, anyways, okay, the piping is still pretty liquidy, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead with it. I don't know how many times I've said that and regretted it, but I'm gonna attempt to just go ahead. Um, and like I was showing you earlier, I put these, um, you know, I guess they're supposed to look like uh, ice cubes. But <laughs> anyways, I put the ice cubes, um, ice cubes in and um, now we are going to go ahead and do our dollop of whipped cream. So I'm going to try to do, you know, like a big dollop in the middle. So 
And with this mold, we have them marked, but you really can't see it that, that great, the markings, because no matter what I use, it seems like for whatever reason, it wipes off, like the markings wipe off. So if you guys have any ideas of what to mark the um, freezer paper with, please let me know because all it ever does is disappear. It wipes off as we're making the soap. So there's one little dollop and actually it's probably good that it's runny because it'll kind of get in the nooks and crannies as Bella says. So um, I did the one and I still feel like I need to wait. <laughs> Um, but um, I'll go ahead and show you while we're waiting what we have to put on top. So after the dollop of whipped cream, we've got some little cherries made with the same colorant, the My Red Obsession and the Really Red Mica. And then we have some little cut straws that have stars on them. So those are gonna go in the side. They're gonna be super cute. And we also have some party on jojoba beads. And these are from Soapbox Micas. Um, and that is so cool. We have not used these yet. So we're gonna do some glitter and some of these. So I'm excited about that. But um, we will come back in just a minute. I'm gonna let this set up a little bit more. Okay, so it's been a just a couple minutes and I'm gonna attempt to do some more piping. I think we saved a lot more piping than we needed to. <laughs> so we're gonna do another good sized dollop on top. We want it to be a nice big dollop right on top. I don't know about you guys, but I love whipped cream, depending on what kind it is. The fresh whipped cream, it has to be. I don't want no Cool Whip stuff. I want, I want the fresh whipped cream. Ooh, it's still pretty runny, which I know it would be so much prettier if I waited. All right, here is a close-up of the patriotic pina colada soap. I hope the cut looks as good as it smells. This is so delicious smelling. It will discolor, so the blue will get a little bit darker and the red will get a little bit darker, but the white will stay nice and white. And so will the piping. So I am so excited to see what these look like. So join us in 24 to 48 hours for the cut. 
Look at those jojoba beads. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. You can see those little ice cubes and the glitter. I'm loving it, yum. Okay, so we are back 24 hours later to cut the patriotic pina colada soap. So although I'm wearing a USA shirt, there is many, many other countries that represent the colors red, white, and blue. So do so all the soap makers out there, do not be afraid to make a red, white, and blue soap because there's many other countries that represent those colors. So I made a list of a ton of countries, pretty much, I think there are all of them on here, all the countries that represent the colors red, white, and blue, and I'm going to list them. France, Chile, Croatia, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Russia, Australia, Slovakia, Costa Rica, Slovenia, Serbia, Cuba, Iceland, Norway, Czech Republic, United Kingdom, New Zealand, Cambodia, Fiji, United States, Paraguay, Laos, Dominican Republic, and Liberia. Wow, that is literally a ton of countries that represent those colors. So do not be afraid to make soaps that represent the colors red, white, and blue. And also, it represents many other things, like fireworks. Like in the summer, we love watching fireworks and 4th of July and everything like that. And yeah, it is, I love the summer, we love pina coladas, everything in this soap I love about it. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the soap if you buy it, and it smells sweetish. So, um, let's get cutting. Okay, so before I cut the soap, I just wanna refresh your brains about the rules for the soap. So, it had to have more than one layer, and we have three, so that's perfect. It had to have the color blue in it, and it had to have different designs in each layer. So yeah, we did all of that. And also, I wanna remind you that, uh, I don't think we caught it on camera, but we did get a skewer and swirl the red and the white because they were both pretty thick and they were just kind of plopping on top of each other. So I decided to get a skewer and kind of mix them in a little bit. I don't think we caught that on camera, but I just wanted to let you know. So now I'm going to just cut the little sliver off of the end. Smells so good. <laughs> okay, so now let's cut the next bar. Okay, so next bar. Ooh. Oh yeah, and then we also put some ice cubes in there, some mountain pour ice cubes. It's so cool. Put this over here. I love the little jojoba beads on the top. It is literally so cute, I love it. I think I added a really nice touch. Ooh, hmm, I love this one. <laughs> there you go. And this soap is actually still pretty soft, so I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can with this. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with TikTok, but it is an app where you make a ton of short videos on there. And it's like pretty much like a shortened version of a YouTube video. You use like fun audios and you do fun dances and things like that. And I came across some videos of people living in Arizona. And of course you guys know it is super duper hot there. And it is already like over 100 degrees there. And I think that is just crazy. And they were trying to cook foods outside and I thought that was so funny. Like, and it actually cooked some of them. And I thought that was just so crazy because the high today is like 66 degrees. And I think that was just so funny that it was like that hot there already. But yeah. I love that one. So yeah, you can see kind of like where we swirled it with the skewer. I love it, super cute. So I literally love the way this turned out, but you're probably thinking like, wait, how is that more than one design? Um, <laughs> we planned on the white drop swirling into the blue, but it's just kind of sitting on top. 
but that's okay. I still love the way it looks. And we also plan on putting jojoba beads in the white and not on top. Uh, but we, I completely forgot about it. And, um, but I still love the way it turned out. Um, yeah, I still love it. Also, the fragrance was a little troubling. It did rice a little and it did accelerate. Ooh, it did accelerate the trace. Um, but that's okay because it still turned out really, really nice and I love it. So this soap is still super duper soft, soft as I said earlier. Um, so I'm trying to be as careful as possible. Um, but we just wanted to hurry up and get this cut and get it uploaded for you guys. But I love the soap. I love it. And it smells like pina colada. It's so good. I love it. So I know some of you guys might be wondering how gymnastics is going. It is going very well. I am super sad I did not get to be able to compete in states which was a bummer, but um, we have been having outdoor practices, of course, more than six feet away. Uh, we've been doing outdoor, but the very first one, it was like 80 something degrees. It was super hot. I struggled a little bit, especially because it was the first practice back, but hopefully I will get um, <laughs> in shape, um, back in shape and be able to hurry up and get back in the gym to be able to practice. And yeah, so we've been having outdoor practices um, and we also are having morning and evening ones. Um, and yeah. one thing that is amazing about my new gym is that it is so much closer. Um, before, uh, my gym was an hour and a half away, which was so much of a struggle. Uh, we had to drive an hour and a half for every practice. Um, I had to finish school early and everything like that. This is just so much easier because my gym is a very short different distance. It's like 25 minutes away. Um, that is so much better than an hour and a half, of course. But also, I love living here because we are super duper close to the beach. We have to drive like 30 minutes and we are already at Oceanfront, Virginia Beach. It is amazing. So that will be so much fun this um, summer. Um, hopefully, um, we will be able to go to the beach very often. Um, yeah, and I, very, I really love the beach. Um, but let me know, guys, what your plans are for the summer. Um, I cannot wait. I don't know if you guys know what Busch Gardens is, but it's a huge theme park that is literally so much fun. We go every year, all the time. Um, <laughs> we have season passes and we normally go for Christmas, for Halloween, and a lot of the times throughout the summer. Um, it is a very, very th fun theme park. So I haven't been able to go, go in a few months since Christmas Town, so I am super sad about that. But um, hopefully I will be able to go to Bush Gardens quickly. It is literally so much fun. They have so many fun roller coasters. Um, and yeah, hopefully this year I'll be able to ride more um, roller coasters because I'm taller. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, I'm super duper excited to go to Bush Gardens this year. I wanted to go so bad. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love that. With the little slivers. Ooh. Mmm, smells so, so good. So I'm going to bring you guys in for a little close up on our soaps and yeah. Okay, so here's a little close up for our patriotic pina colada soaps. I love, love, love the way they turned out. And the title of the collaboration was Wonderful Waters. And especially on this bar, I think it looks like waves. The water does. I love the way it looks. Like, you see the little wave? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love this one. And they smell amazing. I love it. They're so amazing. <laughs> but okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications if you want to see more of my videos. So make sure to tap on the hashtag in the description if you want to watch all of the other amazing soap makers, um, all their soaps that they made. So thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know in a comment. If the comments are turned on, let me know in a, in a comment if you love these soaps because I do. I love them so much. So I love you guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye.